Everyone, welcome Lisa to the show. Now, 35 years ago, a chain of events took place that ultimately caused Lisa's infant son, Antonio, to be given up for adoption. So for almost four decades, Lisa's search for Antonio came up empty. Recently, Lisa's niece, Tika, got involved. And with the help of a private investigator, Tika found a man named Antonio. And just two weeks ago, Lisa finally met Antonio face to face. But instead of feeling joy and peace, Lisa says she felt absolutely nothing when she met this man, leading her to believe that Antonio is not her son. Let's start at the beginning. What happened 35 years ago? The state took him. It was before he turned a year old. And what happened was he had a, a physical problem. Right. Could it not keep, keep down the milk. Down. Yes. I took him to the hospital. They said that I was probably feeding him too much. It wasn't burping him right. So they came in. They started putting IVs in him, and the state came in. And the state took him. They took him. From you. From me. Because they thought you were a bad mother. They said that I, um, he was underweight, and I had to go to a lot of parenting classes. I did everything they told me to do, right. but it and wasn't they good still enough. Took him. It wasn't good enough for them. And then when you went back to get him, right before he turned a year, no, he turned a year, and I took the birthday cake. It was me and his dad. We took the birthday cake. And when I went up there, they said he wasn't there. He was adopted. He was adopted. And once he turned 18 years old, it was up to him to find you. You were not right. allowed to I find him. I was not him. allowed. They said, once you sign over your parental rights, you are not allowed right. to find him. So now, fast forward 35 years after you give birth, Tika, your niece, comes to you, called you. Tika, what did you do? I got in touch with somebody and got her to look for my cousin. And with a little bit of information, she ended up getting, a, you know, um, able to get in contact with him. So I was so excited, so I had told her, and she just like, oh, okay. And then you know how you've been, you done lost something, and you've been looking for it for so long, and now it's like you can't find it, you have no hope, because hope it's all gone. That's the thing, the feeling that I got from her, so I, I kind of got in my feelings. So I'm like, dang, you know, she's not even excited. She's just like... Let's find out why, okay? When she told you, you, you were perplexed, I guess. Yes. Why? I'd seen him. I just didn't get that motherly extent. It just... It, I just couldn't feel that connection. Yeah, except for the fact he living with you right now. Yes. Yes. So apparently, you are holding out hope, right? Yeah, right. You say there was no hope, Tika, but th she's holding out hope. You want him to be your son? Yes. I'm praying God that he is my child. But the problem is some of your family thinks that he may be scamming you. Yeah. And one of those people who thinks that Antonio is not your son is Uncle T, who is backstage, and he is adamant that Antonio is a convert. <laughs> and we're gonna meet him in a bit. All right. There are four suspicious facts that you have questioning Antonio's true intentions. So let's go through these facts. Convenient local. He, all his life, he was here in Jacksonville, where I stay. So he was in the He area. was here the whole time. Not only that, he was around my niece, my, my sister, the whole time. They didn't recognize him. He done said at my mom's table at eight. She did not recognize him. Right. Second question is a birthday. One person says February 14th, one person yeah. says February 10th. February the 10th, in 84. Right. And, he, and apparently on his records, it's February 14th. 14th. Now, what the third question here that you have? Questionable connections. The connection that we have is, is questionable. Right. And what about the fourth, the fourth question you have is about his physical feature. All my kids got my features. Forehead, eyes, lips, nose. You don't think that there's any connection there? <laughs> mm, a little. Everybody, here's Antonio. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome. Have a seat. Antonio, you live with her. Is that your mother? Yes. You're sure? For sure. Look, look at this picture. Look. 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 
That's a hundred percent my mama. Apparently, Lisa, most of your kids and most of the people in your family are tall. Yes, very tall. They are very. All my sons is very, very tall, and, and he's, he's not. short. I mean, all every man in our family. I've is seen very people tall. in my family. Some are short. Some are tall. Well, you know, I, yeah. not not my in not my boys. <laughs> This is very interesting. He comes out here, you don't, you don't feel a connection. You don't, there's... Do you feel a connection, Antonio? Yes, I do. Aww. Always will. You were in the area. The whole time. You knew her sister. Didn't know it, not one time. So, when you were in foster care and all that kind of stuff when you were growing up, nobody ever told you who your birth parents were? Well, I was told that my parent was dead. Aww. We're gonna meet Uncle T, because guess what, Antonio? He thinks that you're a scam artist. <laughs> I'm a scam wife? Yeah. They can't find me. But they think... <laughs> Here's Uncle T. <Jim. laughs> You're suspicious, aren't you? Yeah. Why are you so suspicious? Man, where this guy come from, man? He think he's just gonna come around and just, just come on, man. Man, he's not gonna... Mark, he been missing for what, 30-something years? Yeah. Where he was? See, what the problem is, I think, Mark, he's trying to get into our family jewels, you understand me? Cause you're, you're a well-to-do family. You've We're got... a well-to-do family. We got entrepreneurs in my family. What happens if, if I prove to you that he's your nephew? If you prove to me he's my nephew, yep. I don't think that's gonna be done. <laughs> what do you think he's been lying about? Everything. Pick, pick a subject. I'll be looking for my mama. Yeah. Yeah. Look at them eyes. Well, Look at the eyes. I'm your blood, too. I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't tell. What's gonna happen if I open up this envelope and say that he is your son? My heart would be so complete. <laughs> In the case of 35-year-old Antonio, Lisa, you are the mother! <laughs> Uncle T, Uncle T. 35 years. Huh? 35 years. Yeah. Where you been? I'm happy for your family. I'm happy for you. Yes, 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 yes. This yes, is yes. very important for her. She's been looking for She's been looking for Thanks for watching this dramatic DNA reveal. If you want to see more paternity stories, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about all new DNA drama.